Deck building sucks. You never know how many copies of a card to run, or even if including it actually contributes to the best results. This is true for pretty much every TCG, but in Yu-Gi-Oh there's so much extra speculation and the weight of influences is huge, and this has a really strong impact on whether or not people are building perfect decks. So what if you didn't have to? What if a computer could handle all the nitty gritty, you just gave it a few suggestions and then it went away and learned the perfect way to build a deck for winning any match? That's what I'm going to do in today's video and to make it happen, I'm going to make my computer watch a million duels. So the concept is pretty simple, there are a few steps. So number one, I'm going to grab a million duels from a popular but unofficial Yu-Gi-Oh simulator. Uh, number two, I'll get my computer to strip out all of these starting hands and whether or not people won or lost those matches. Uh, then number three, I'll give the computer an idea of what kind of cards I actually want to use for building my deck. Uh, and then number four, the computer goes away and does everything on its own and I just sit back, relax and enjoy my brand new deck list. So Dueling Book is a popular simulator for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. It's an unofficial sim and so I obviously can't recommend it with Master Duel coming up and being such a great option for competitive play down the line, but one big advantage of Dueling Book is you can access all of the previously played matches for free. As long as you have a link with a replay ID, you can watch any match that has taken place on Dueling Book. It seems pretty cool, but there's not actually anything here useful for a computer. So I'm gonna do a secret hacker tip. So this is a two-step process to allow you to access the matrix. So from here, I can find this page that's all text and has everything I need. Now to grab it. Okay, so now I'm going from this to this, and finally to this. That's a lot of replays. Now, I'm not going to say computer build me the best deck because it will get a bit confused and it will look at all the replays and try and combine all the best cards from every archetype, which is obviously not the way to build an actual deck. Uh, instead, I can pick all the cards that are related to one deck, give it to the computer, and then the computer can take that and build an optimal list based on what it's seen from all of those duels. So to do that, I want it to have a pretty friendly interface and in true Art Attack style, here's one I made earlier. So you can search for cards, you can add them to the deck, specify if it's an engine requirement, obviously because you never ever want to see Driver in your opening hand. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my f***ing god! But the computer will just think that that means you don't want it in the deck at all, so you gotta fix that. And now I can hand it over to the bot. To rate how good a theoretical deck is, I'm going to need a model. So you've probably heard about machine learning by now, but I'm not going to go into the detail. All you really need to know is that I'm going to put a player's hand into the model and then out of the model we'll get a score of how likely they are to win that match. Building the model looks a bit like this. And then it doesn't work, so you fix it like this. Now, I don't just want to check one hand, so if I have a deck, then I can generate 100 or 1,000 or even 10,000 10, hands and get the average score for the deck. And since it's a computer, that's a lot faster than shuffling and drawing 1,000 hands on my own and kind of guessing how good they are. Okay, so with this, I can now rate any deck and it's time to start building. To build a perfect deck, I'm going to follow three steps. Number one, I'm going to create lots of random decks. Number two, I'm going to pick the best ones from that list and breed them. And then number three, I'm going to take the best performing offspring of that reproduction and repeat the process. This probably sounds really weird. Uh, so when I say they're going to breed, I mean roughly half the cards from one deck and roughly half the cards from the other deck will be mixed into a final deck list, which is the, the child, the baby. Um, and this is called a, a genetic algorithm. Um, it basically copies Darwin's theory of evolution and it will allow me to optimize the numbers for my deck. Uh, the weaker decks will obviously be pushed out of the gene pool and only the strong ones will survive. 
Like many TCGs, Yu-Gi-Oh follows a ban list, so some cards you can play at 3, some at 2, some at 1, and some you just can't even play at all. Um, obviously I don't want the bot to build illegal decks, so decks with like 35 copies of Upstart Goblin and the 5 pieces of Exodia. Or do I? So I've got some restrictions that I need to follow. Pulling the ban list can be done in a few ways. So Yu-Gi-Oh has a forbidden and limited list website where you can actually track the latest one. This is what most people use, but they also have a card database which has all the information about every card that's been printed. Um, and this is actually the way to go because this is the one that updates at the time when the card legality changes, except for that one time when Firewall was still banned, but we don't talk about that. Again, luckily for me, I already spent ages writing some code to pull the full card database and save it down. So yeah, I don't have a life. Anyway, slap that into the deck building bot and we're good to go. A fourth rate deck. It took a while and the computer generated just over 9,000 different decks and had to check more than 9 million hands in order to arrive at a final result. But here it is. Here's my baby's first ever deck list. Isn't it pretty? We've got Tri Brigade list, we can do Dragon Link list, we can do Tritron, we can do whatever we like. As long as it's been played enough on DB, you can turn it into an optimized deck list. This bad boy can fit so many decks. So if you look at it, you might think some of the ratios seem a little bit questionable when you look at it from an outside point of view, but that's kind of the point. Humans are so sort of flawed in our understanding of what actually leads to match wins and game wins that we tend to pick slightly suboptimal ratios and convince ourselves that they're somehow better when we end up winning. And often we win by happening to draw two offs or one offs. Looking at these lists makes me super happy. I mean, this is what the experience of a million duels can produce. This is wisdom which mortals cannot obtain by living life. Like, there's no way that anyone on the planet has played a million matches. But this computer, this bot, has seen that many matches. So now, let's just hope that the computers don't rise up and destroy the world with card games. Writing code like this was never about just giving myself some optimized lists. I wanted to share this bot and the power that it has with the community, with you guys. Um, it took me quite a long time to get here and I don't really want to spend, you know, weeks or months turning it into an online version if it's only going to be appreciated by like two guys who happen to spend 3p on me in ad revenue. So my ask from you is pretty simple. Just get this video to 10,000 views. I mean, that's like not even, well, it's like 1% of what my bot has had to go through in terms of duels. And then once that happens, I'll put it up on the web. I'll include everything you need to start turning uh, your replays into uh, a, a computer that can predict and build optimized lists all on its own. I'll give you everything you need to get going. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I can really say. There's there's nothing else for me except that obviously you can put in really stupid card combinations into this deck and uh, get some pretty wacky results.